Hi, Ricky here from Tech Talk. Today I want to talk to you about disabled settings on the iPhone 6 here from Vodafone. So massive thank you to them. All new stores are linked in the description. I want you to go and check them out so you can have a look at this great device for yourself. So jumping into settings. And then you want to go into general. So going into settings and then into general. Then six down on the list here is called accessibility. As you might already see, mine's a little bit bigger and it's bolder as well. The text can be put bold on this phone and there is tons of features for disabled people, which is great for myself. So starting from the top there, you've got voiceover, which is really good. You've got zoom as well with three fingers. Do a three finger tap. So one, two, three. And there you go. The three fingers, you can go around the screen. So one, two, three. So you've got voiceover as well, which I'm going to do last. You've got invert colors. So if I toggle this, you can see it inverts the colors. You've got grayscale as well. If I do this, it turns everything grayscale. You've got speech as well. In here, inside here, you've got speech selection. You've got speak screen and speak auto text as well, which helps if you do need that and you find it hard of seeing. Going down large text, I've already got that on, and bold text. If you do choose bold text, it will restart your device as it does make it a lot easier. So don't panic. So button shapes as well. Increase your contrast here. Reduce motion. On off for labels. Hearing, you've got hearing aids. LED flash, the light on the back you can set for tones. So if you can't hear your device but you can see it, the LED will flash text messages, phone calls, and anything else. Really great. Mono audio as well there, phone noise cancellation as well. The speaker if you want it to come out left or right sided. You've got subtitles and captioning in there. Video description, got guided access as well. Got switch control, assistive touch, call cool auto routing as well. Home click speed. Reachability, so reachability means this. If you double tap the home button, so don't actually touch it, but just double tap on it. It will pull the screen down for you. So I'm not actually actually pushing the button in, I'm just double tapping it on top. And you've got shortcut there. So going back up to the top here, and this is full of features, I am so pleased to see. Finally a company really plowing in some features there for disabled people. Samsung do it as well. So it's really good and I wish other companies will really take it on board the amount of features people have put in here, but this is a higher priced phone. So speech over, we're going to toggle this on. Voiceover alert, important. Voiceover changes the gestures used to control your iPhone. Are you sure you want to continue? Press OK, button, OK, button. Settings, voiceover, accessibility, back button. Acce accessibility, back button, accessibility. So you have to double tap it once. Back button. Okay, so it's highlight that one at the top. So So we can even go home as well. Messages. Double tap to open. Calendar, Friday photos, camera, videos, clock, 15 for weather, so, clock, 15.41. So you go, it tells us Double the time. 34% battery power, status bar item. So if you... Swipe at page one or two, adjustable. Page one or two, adjustable. Page one or two, adjustable. Page two two. So with three fingers, you have to slide down and move across your screen. Alert. Allow weather to access your location even when you are not using the app. Don't allow. Don't allow. Button. There we go. So it's given us a little bit of information there. But disable settings on this phone are fantastic. Well done, Apple. I am so pleased. Being registered blind myself. The bold text is so much better. The voiceover is really good for when I'm having really bad days and I can't read my screen. 
voiceover is there. So if you do have problems with disabilities and you are interested in this phone, please check out this video. Please go and ask in store or please check on their website or leave a comment down below if there's anything you're worried about before purchasing and I will gladly help you because I do know it is a bit worrisome buying a brand new handset and you cannot use it. Okay, so thanks always for watching. Leave a comment and a like and a subscribe on the video and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.